reformed are probably one of the most interesting aspects of, of keeping these that, that I'm familiar with. Their, uh, their behavior uh, is, is really uncanny uh, about the way they, they work in, in a swarm. Uh, and what is a swarm anyway, you know? Uh, we, we call them that, but uh, let's go back a little ways in, in history a little bit. Uh, in a short time ago, in, in the scheme of things, uh, about 150 years ago, which is not very long in, in, the, in, the, in the long passage of beekeeping, uh, up until that time, until we were introduced uh, by Ellen Langstroth uh, to uh, the removable uh, frame out of the colony, uh, these were a little more awkward to work with. You couldn't do the manipulation <coughs> that we can now. Uh, so back then, the, the, the beekeepers, by and large, maybe, or at least a great deal of beekeepers, kept bees in, in more crude fashion. Uh, they weren't able to remove frames uh, to work with the bees. They weren't able to divide colonies that way. They depended on the, the bees issuing <coughs> And they gathered these swarms each time, and they watched their bee yards very closely for these uh, these swarms to issue out of what colony they had. They would capture them and put them into another facility. A lot of times they were kept in uh, even cut off uh, hollow trees, you know, bee log, or they built boxes. Just uh, I, I was able to see one of those, and and uh, a fellow over east of here, uh, around uh, Talpa over there. Uh, actually kept these in those. He was from the old, old school. That's been a number of years ago. And by the way, that's not a legal way to keep bees anymore. Uh, they should be in removable frame. And there's a good reason for that, uh, especially for detecting diseases. So, but, but he was keeping those. And it was a squat a box built out of one by 12, uh, just a square box about, about four feet tall, probably something like that. And, and up in near the top of it, about a, about a foot down or something like that, with a, two cross pieces of wood. And you put a swarm in there, and they'd hang on that, on those little cross pieces of wood, and then build a nest. And when the honey flow came, they'd build uh, build a comb up in the top, put honey up in there. And that's they'd go in and take the little cover off of it, get the harvest of honey out of that top. You didn't destroy the bees nest, but that was uh, one of the only ways that you could get honey out without destroying this destroying there. So they kept those uh, in those kind of facilities for a good many years. A lot of them did. Uh, very crude way of, of, of keeping bees. Uh, and they didn't they didn't refer to these hives or, or colonies as col as such. They called them swarm. And when they were for, referring to how many colonies they had, they, they said, well how many swarms do you have? Or how many how, or you have so many swarms? And they were actually boxes or, or logs or some uh, method of, of keeping bees. But now we have a lot better way of keeping bees. Uh, hooray for the removable frame. Uh, we can do a whole lot of things. You can help uh, prevent uh, swarming uh, quite often.